26-year-old is in his first season with the Catalans, having joined from Leeds United in the summer. The Brazilian international impressed the Spanish giants during his two seasons at Elland Road. Barker paid a first fee of around £50 million and has seen a good return on their investment. The former Wren player has made 15 starts in 25 top-flight appearances, scoring six goals. He's also seen plenty of action in Europe, with five appearances in the Champions League and two in the Europa League. Barcelona's European adventure is over, but they are far ahead in the league. Xavi's men lead fierce rivals Real Madrid by 12 points. Rafinha has contributed since signing a five-year contract at Camp Nou. Last summer, Arsenal sporting director Edu made no secret of his desire to sign the South American. And, according to journalist Peter O'Rourke, nothing has changed in the months since. Barcelona's recent financial difficulties have been widely publicized. To balance the books, they had to sell superstar forward Lionel Messi to Paris Saint-Germain in the summer of 2021. They couldn't afford the Argentina star's salary and struggled without him. Given the turmoil at the club, a second-place La Liga finish was commendable, but they finished 13 points behind champions Real Madrid. Europe supplied no solace, as Barcelona was eliminated from the Champions League in the group stage. They were then eliminated in the last eight of the Europa League. This season has also been disappointing for European football, with another Champions League group stage exit. Manchester United then defeated them in the round of 32 of the Europa League. However, things are looking up in La Liga. However, financial issues are causing another summer of change at the club. Arsenal, according to O'Rourke, will be closely checking the situation, with all eyes on whether their former target becomes available. And the North Londoners could get the former sporting star for a bargain. Rafinha is well-versed in the Premier League, having played for Leeds. And Arsenal are now a big draw, with Mikel Arteta's side in pole position to win the Premier League for the first time since 2003-2004.